What's going on guys? This is the Turn the Nerdherd.com and today I wanted to take a look at the MyUI operating system for the uh, Verizon Samsung Galaxy S3. So this OS is available across all platforms on Android. If you have an Android phone then you should already know what MyUI is. MyUI along with CyanogenMod are the only two, at least in my opinion, universal true uh, ROMs that you will find literally on almost every phone. Um, MyUI is almost a completely different operating system running on Android. So let's see, take a look at it and see what makes it different from other versions of Android and why you might want to actually pick a MyUI for your phone yourself. So let's start off with lock screen. So MyUI is unique in that it has its own uh, theming system. So right now I do have a theme on my UI and as you see here, um, it gives me a different lock screen. So the lock screen that I'm using now is part of the, I believe this is a suave theme or it might be the blue theme. I'll sh we'll look at that once we get into the theme launcher. But we'll unlock the device and the device unlocks. So what makes my UI unique is that the my UI home launcher does not have an applications drawer. All of the applications are left on your home screen. Um, if you're coming from an iOS device or you have an iOS device, then you'll be very familiar with this. Now, my icons look a little more like traditional iOS icons, so it looks more like an iPhone than it should normally look on the uh, basic theme. But that's you know something you'll notice. You know you can install different launchers if you want to. You can install because this is running on top of Android 4.1. I believe this one is 4.1. We'll take a look and go through the settings. So you can install Nova Launcher, Apex, you know, Helix, any of those other different launchers if you want. So no worries there. You're not stuck or limited to this. So you can change that. What I do, however, like this. I, I'm very comfortable with going across the home screen like that. And I think that it's very nice that I you know, have the option of doing that. It's very convenient for me anyway. I prefer that. So let's go through your settings. Uh, menu settings. So this is uh, what, I, what I was meaning before about it completely skinning your device. Um, this is nothing or looks absolutely nothing like the traditional settings you will find on any other Android phone. So you see here we have our list of common settings. We have access to our Wi-Fi settings. Uh, Bluetooth, we can edit our brightness right there. Access to wallpaper. Um, see wallpaper there. We can see desktop, lock, lock screen, and live wallpaper. Um, we can edit the launcher, add things to the launcher, change things around with the MyUI launcher, so that's there. Uh, access volume settings, that's you know, available there. Ringtones. Uh, mess around with the SMS notifications, so you know different sounds. Of course, like I said before, that's common. And access to the uh, syncing of the account, so that's in the common settings. We go to the top, we see full settings. We have act, um, the menu looks a little more. Uh, like what traditional Android looks like, so you have complete access to everything. Uh, I prefer the common settings; it's really easy. Just you know, get to what I want. I don't have to go to full settings and you know, press Wi-Fi. I can just go to common settings and have Wi-Fi there if you know I want to go right from Wi-Fi to brightness or things like that. It's very easy to get to, so that's very nice. Other than that, when you go to full settings, you got a traditional sense of the Android uh, scene here. Well, we check the about phone. This is also completely different from what you noticed on Android before. So this is the um, SEH i535, which is the Verizon model of the uh, Galaxy S3. And this is running Android 4.1.2. So this is the latest build that's available on uh, Android's Jelly Bean. So you do have access to Google Now and all of the other goodies that you get on 4.1.2. This is not 4.2, however, so you don't have access to the, uh, the uh, new features on the home screen and the status bar. But that's, of course, you know, different. A phone unlocked. Whoops. Let's go back to about phone. Um, you know, difference. The same specs on the phone apply. This is the dual core model because this is the American version, and pretty much remains the same there. What I do like is that it allows you to check for system updates. This checks the MyUI repository, and if there is an update available, you can choose it, and it'll install over the air. Um, I currently have the updated version, so that's fine for me. What I do like about my UI, uh, another difference, at least anyway, is the multi the, um, the multitasking bar. So you hold on the long on uh, long press on the home button, and you have access to the multitasking tray, which, like I've said before, is very similar because the OS itself is similar to iOS in a sense. You do get a similar multitasking bar. 
However, there is no like long pressing to exit out of things. If you long press, you get into the uh, set the application info settings for that application so you can uninstall or clear data if you want to, anything like that. But it does still allow you to uh, fast switch between different um, applications. Uh, okay, whatever. So, you know, that's available there. Another neat thing about my UI is the notifications bar. So you see here, you have two different toggles. You have notifications and toggles, pretty much. So toggles gives you your quick settings to different uh, features on the device. So it's set up automatically by itself, but you can add or change what you want to add here. So um, sync does not necessarily work with this version of Android. I don't know what the reason is, but on most of the uh, updates from 4.1 and above, I have been unable to turn off automatic syncing from my, uh, my my device and that's actually kind of annoying but um so figuring out a way maybe there's something I'm missing there but you see you have access to the syncing you can take screenshots uh, turn your GPS mess with the silence and the Wi-Fi and your data all of that generic stuff you can do with the uh, with the cyanogen mod uh, lock screen you can do with this one so that's that and you also have quick access to your settings there as well notifications works the same as generic Android device notifications will show up there and because this is 4.1, you can slide the notification away if you, you know, don't want to look at it or expand on it if it's an email or something like that. So that's available there. So we were talking earlier about themes on the device, and that's you know one of the key features of my UI is the fact that you can really customize the device. So I currently have Blue Suave HD, so that's selected there, and you see my icons are Blue Suave. And um, they're blue oriented, so you know you see a lot of blue accents around. But more or less, it's still using these suave icons, which are very common with iOS. Um, if I wanted to, I can use this one, which is what I've been using quite frequently now. Um, I changed to blue suave uh, last night. This was the theme I was using most of the week and uh, last weekend as well. So let's go ahead and activate this and show you guys what's changed with the with the uh, the software once I've used it. So go to home and unlock the screen to so see right away what's going on. And we'll unlock the screen and you see I have three bars here. One is for phone and as you see it acts in um independently. So it works very nicely with the wallpaper. Um this is for quick access to phone, this is for quick access to my messages and this is just to generically unlock the device. So that's very nice. Um, the wallpaper changes. The widget actually changes as well. So you see before the clock widget had just the time on the right side of the screen. Now it changes this completely and it looks like some, you know, uh, tag off of like a shirt or something. It's very nice. And I do like how it changes all of the icons as well. So even if there's no theme for that specific icon that's been themed, um, the system automatically puts that border outside of the icon and themes it for you. So it's very nice. Um, most things change. You see the color accents change as well. You see what toggles. It is red there. We'll go back to notifications. Uh, colors change there. And when you go to settings, it changes as well. So themes really do take a look into uh, changing your device. The status bar also changed color as well, if you, you know, could have noticed. So that's very powerful about my UI is that it does give you like real complete access to the uh, system. So you can download more themes online if you want to. Um, most of these are free. Really all of them are actually free. There are no paid for my UI themes, but you know you can make your own and you can upload it to my UI itself. I'm not sure how, but um, I'm pretty sure if you're a developer, a themer, you probably already know how to do it or can find out yourself. Um, but yeah, you can you know simply find a theme. They're not too large. Uh, a couple of megabytes might be maybe 30, 40, depending of how many icons there are, are available in that package or the wallpapers or whatever but they're all available and all of these change things from the status bar to the lock screen to how your messages look she does everything I really do like that about this you see you go to messages and things actually change there as well now let's go back to my old theme because I wanted to uh, change that one um, this is the generic one by the way the my style um, actually no that's not the generic one I'm so sorry this is a gen. No, that's not either. Oh my god, what's a generic my UI theme? Actually, no, I think it. No, is it? I'm so confused now. Uh. Okay, you know what? Whatever. This is gonna be our new. 
That was not what I was using. What was I using, guys? Oh, yeah, Blue Swap. I'm so sorry. Uh, okay, so I'll put that theme back on there. But, yeah, like I said before, you know, you know, it's very customizable. You have a lot of access to the device, which is not something that you're probably used to when you're using other ROMs because they don't they don't integrate theming and customizations to the device itself like that. So when my UI first came out, um, it, I think it was like two years ago, it was Chinese based. Um, they had a little introduction video on YouTube and they did that Dragon Ball Z theme song thing, which I think was pretty rad. So, you know, they had really good promotions. Um, you can go to myuidev.com or us.dev.myui, something like that. Um, I'll probably put it, the link in the description so you can download the ROM. And, you know, like I said before, this is cross uh, platform or cross device. So whether you're using a Galaxy S3, Galaxy S2, a Nexus 4, or a Nexus, well not Nexus 4, um, a Galaxy Nexus, um, you know, any, most phones have uh, access to MyUI. If your phone has access to CyanogenMod, it probably has a port for MyUI. It might not be perfect, but it has a port. So, okay guys, this is the turn of the road, Gonzalez for the NerdHerd.com, and this has been a quick look at the MyUI operating system. Alright guys, until next time, we will see you later.